Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the real United States. We're here in downtown Washington, D.C., just a couple of blocks from the United States Navy Yard. And I wanted to bring you here to show you something that is relatively rare. And these are this incessant beeping you hear is part of a system of the crosswalks that we have here in Washington, D.C. that are designed specifically to accommodate people who are blind. Now, blind folks, you know, often have service animals or they'll have a white cane that they feel their way around and they've gotten pretty good with this. But it's not always easy navigating the downtown city streets without having some sort of auditory signal to tell you what's going on. Well, the crosswalks here have been given this beep on a one second interval. And I'll see if this picks this up. When you push the button, wait. it tells you to wait. Now when the light changes, and we got about 20 seconds here, so that it can go ahead and you can cross the street here, which is M Street incidentally, it's going to tell you that the timer has started and that you are now able to go ahead and you have time to cross the street. Now we're, we're time out, the light is changing. Walk sign is on to cross. Walk sign is on to cross. Walk sign is on. So it tells you that the walk sign is on. You can now begin to proceed to cross. And there's more than sufficient time then to go ahead and make a straight shot across the street. Now this is, uh, again, this is something that's been done to accommodate people with visual handicaps. Now, I don't think that this is terribly common. I think you may see it in some of the larger metropolitan areas other than DC. I have not witnessed it personally other places, but I'm sure you might find it in larger cities, maybe Chicago, LA, New York, I don't know. If you happen to know, please leave us a comment down in the comment section and tell us where you've seen these elsewhere. I think you're going to find these in highly industrialized nations, maybe in Japan, possibly in Russia, I don't know. Maybe I, uh, viewers over there in Moscow can tell me if there's anything like that there. Now DC actually is home to uh, a lot of... Uh, accommodations or special things for people with handicaps. Gallaudet University, which is a university specifically geared towards deaf people, is also here just a few miles from where we're standing in the District of Columbia. And I don't know if there is a specifically a school for the blind here. It wouldn't surprise me at all. But we, this is kind of a very central place for people with those sorts of disabilities that want to come for advanced education and things to come. So certainly this is something that's very, very valuable here in the District of Columbia. So it's other than that, it's a normal cross light. But if you want to swing around and zoom in, they can see that the blinking numbers on the far side coincide exactly with the one second intervals of the beeps on the speaker here. And of course it timed out. <laughs> but it's kind of a neat little device and it's all designed so everything's synchronized so someone who can't see it can hear it and count and know how much time has elapsed. So, and it's telling us to wait if we push the button again. So I just thought this is something that was very, very interesting here in the District of Columbia. And so thank you for joining us here on The Real United States. I hope you've enjoyed this well, not unique, but relatively rare piece of technology they would hear use here in the United States. If you haven't already, I encourage you to pick subscribe. Come along for the adventure. If you've got questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. We love hearing from all of you. We try to get back to everybody we can. And as always, thank you for watching. Walk sign is on to cross. Walk sign is on to